Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Build. I'm Carrie Justic, and today we'll be sitting down with not one, but two very special guests who you likely know as reality star legends. From Toddlers and Tiaras to Here Comes Honey Boo Boo, and now their latest spinoff on WeTV, From Not to Hot, Alana Thompson, otherwise known as Honey Boo Boo, and her mom, Mama June, will be joining us. But before we welcome them to the stage, let's check out a clip from the return of season two. Biggie and Jelly Bean in my room with all my stuff. What? Mama! What? Look what they did to my room! They stole my room! What the hell? Where's Biggie? Where's my trophies? And, like, most importantly, where's my bed? I mean, I don't know why they did this. I mean, just go down there and lay on the couch for a little bit. No, Mama, the couch is too hard. Let's deal with this when we talk to your aunt, please. I'm exhausted. I'm going to sleep. Good night. Mama! Look, I will deal with that later. I'm tired. My eye hurts. So you're not doing anything about this, Mama? Well, look, I wasn't here either. You have to do something about this. Look, let's just all get some sleep, and I promise I'll talk to her and we'll work this situation Mama. out. Mama! Pumpkin is at the hospital. We will deal with this tomorrow. I need to lie down and rest my eye. Oh, my God. <sighs> I can't do it this family. So there's a look at some of the drama, but let's welcome Honey Boo Boo and Mama June. Thank y'all so much for having us. Of course. So like I already mentioned, you guys are seasoned pros when it comes to reality TV. How does it feel to be back? Um, it feels really good finally to be able to give the second half of the second season because we were down for so long. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, I know people are really excited. We just finished up like last week with all the interviews and stuff and just finished up the last bit of filming last week. So literally we're spinning them as soon as y'all are going to see them. Yeah, so I checked out the last episode of the of what we know yeah. of season two, and you guys really left us with quite a cliffhanger. Yes. So, but the one thing we did know was that you were planning on competing in a pageant. A lot of things then happened, including eye surgeries and welcoming a new granddaughter, Ella Grace. So how did you decide that now was the right time to get back into preparing for a pageant? Um, I said, okay, I, told, I wanted to let Alana know that you don't stop what you put your mind to and it kind of teaches her the same thing that you don't stop what you want to do just because you know there's an obstacle in your way just you know fight through with it and go with it so I was like okay uh, let's do this I mean I'm, I'm not I'm, I was, I'm not telling you I was like oh my god I want to do it. I, I was kind of still reserved <laughs> well you got some pushing from this one you were definitely you were ready to get your mom on that stage no matter what yeah so how has it been going from the OG pageant girl yourself to now training your mom? It's been weird because mama, she like, she's the one like, is like the pageant mom, like sits in the fountain, like in the back. Definitely that's cheers. why I got a new coach. <laughs> <laughs> and cheers, but like I'm the pageant girl. So it's a little weird uh, just to have her on the stage now. And then you decided to join her. So what was that like? Um, I've never done a mother-daughter pageant. Uh, it was uh, it was kind of frustrating because she was like super, super stressed the day like that. Very. Day. I went from being pageant diva licious pageant <laughs> to pageant zilla, worse than bridezilla. I promise oh, you. <laughs> yeah. So how was it? switching with Alana and being on stage. Well, we went on there together, and I tell you this, the judges said I said the S word quite a bit. Oh, perfect. <laughs> oh, perfect. And so, Alana, what were some of the things that you knew you needed to teach your mom, some of your old tricks? Um, I knew that I didn't need to teach her too much, like, of, like, the younger pageants, because this is, like, a more adult pageant. Uh, but... I mean, I didn't really know what to teach her because I've never done it. I have no talent whatsoever, so. And it was kind of hard because I had to, like, teach her a talent, and she has no talent. None. So. None whatsoever. None. That would be like, okay, I got up on the stage, and I would, like, do it. So needless to say, we decided to bring back a, we bring, 
brought back something from Tyler Gentira days that I think that people are really going to like out of retirement. We borrow them out of retirement. Yeah, I saw that. That's exciting. Is it bringing you back to your old pageant days? Um, Kind of. Kind of. She really wants to get back into it. She's been wanting to get back into it for years. And now this kind of like opens up the door. So we're really excited that, you know, especially with uh, some, some things that we've got coming up, it's actually going to help her to get back on that stage. That's amazing. And then, of course, for you, the whole origin of this show is that you went through a weight loss journey and ended up losing 300 pounds, which is yes. huge. Yes. Um, so how was this experience and like celebrating your new body and your new life? Um, for me, like I said, I mean, I have gained some weight back. I've gained about 25 pounds. But in the last six months, I've had a lot of surgery. It's been very emotionally and physically draining on me. Just the whole process, having to live to that image. But to me, when I first came out, I thought I was, like, super skinny. I mean, I really did. Like, I had never been down to, like, 150-something. Never. And when me going down to that, it was like, okay. And then I toppled out at, like, about about 160 and 165, depending. And for me, it's like, okay, I feel comfortable with this weight. And as long as – my goal has always been when I was losing weight not to go under 200 or not to go over 200, vice versa. And for me, I'm happy where I'm at. And, yes, I do feel like I need to lose 15 pounds, but not being able to get up and laying in the bed for the last six months with eye surgery has been very difficult, and I've been hard on myself, like looking at the scale every day, making sure it's not going over what I don't want to go over. Yeah, I do love how real you are with the whole dress scenario, that you went and got this dress, (laughs) you're trying it on, and like a lot of women go through, it doesn't fit the way that you wanted it to fit. I still think the the shop had something to do with that. Oh, I mean, that girl was shady. I'm not going to lie. That <laughs> she was, was shady. They are very, 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 very respectful people. You know what I'm saying? The shop is a great shop um, and very helpful. I just, you know, think that I can't believe I gained a little bit more weight than I thought I did in the last couple of weeks. <laughs> so why was it difficult to kind of share that moment on screen or are you just so used to sharing your real life? Um, I think that's what people love about us is that we are so real that crazy stuff that you wouldn't think that would be shared. People say they relate to us. Like I tell people, we represent the crazy dysfunctional side of America that's scared to get on TV and because they really relate to us. So we try to be as real as possible and keep up to date with our life. And that's the reason why right now you're just a couple months behind on our life when you see the episode airing, you know, Friday. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, Alana, you were like I said, the OG at the age of six, people fell in love with you. Mm -hmm. So now, of course, it's the whole family. People are kind of obsessed with your whole chaotic dynamic. Uh Um, But why do you think people loved you so much? Uh, I don't really know, but, like, I think it was just because, like, of my personality mostly because, like, I have a personality that's, like, funny but, like, out there. I mean, I mean, I don't know, honestly, but I think... And I really think even seven years of us being on TV since 2011, I think that people don't realize... Alana is 12 at the end of the day. She does get shy. She is a normal child. I mean, she. this is probably the nervous. I've seen her all day in these interviews because she's live sitting in front of an audience that she doesn't know. But honestly, I still at 12, I don't think Alana realizes that she's known in 185 countries. Mm-hmm. Um, she's known all over the world. People fell in love with her. And nobody can love her as much as I do. But I think that Alana still today doesn't realize how famous she is, honestly. Yeah, I'm sure it's also weird to look back at those videos when you were six, sitting in these confessionals doing these interviews. <laughs> I mean, you are hysterical. Yeah, it's just like weird because I look back on them sometimes. And I'm just like, oh, my God, I was so little. Yeah, you. I mean, I would never be able to do that, so major props <laughs> to you. Um, and you already touched upon it, but you went through a lot of struggles in the beginning of this season with yeah. your eye surgery. Um, so you definitely left off on a dramatic note. We weren't sure how you were seeing. How's the recovery been since then? Um, I've had since the actual that has ended there. I've had three more surgeries since then. I just had one on the 21st. So I'm still recovering. Can't fly. Can't still have to lay down. So today, you know, coming out to do press, you know, to promote the show has been kind of stressful today. Um, But I look at it this way that, you know, people want to see us, want to know what's going on. So I'm willing to kind of push myself and be exhausted at the end of the day just so we can be able to share what's going on in our life. Yeah, definitely. So when she was recovering, she had to sit in a massage chair. I have to lay down now on my side. Like 45 minutes, especially 45 minutes a day. But today, 
It hasn't. <laughs> so there's no massage chair back there? Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, of course, you welcomed your new granddaughter, Ella Grace, which yes. is amazing. But, yes. Alana, tink, tink. you lost your room to her. How has that been? Um, I did lose my room. Uh, but, you know, it's kind of hard to get mad at her because it was not her fault. It was her mama and her daddy's fault. Um, I kind of forgive them because... I mean, it was just her room after all, so. She's enjoying the couch. I was going to say, you're still sleeping on the couch. But now you also, you expanded the family because you got a cat. who looked Gino at- got the cat. Yeah, Gino got the cat. Did you not see that cat almost mocked? That cat is vicious. Does anybody want a cat? Uh, I don't want that cat personally. <laughs> I'm not a fan. And that cat, it. I think the kitty cat is pregnant now that, since I've been in North Carolina. And I'm like, are you flipping serious? So more cats to come? No, they're going to be. <laughs> yeah, there's anybody, more cats anybody need to a come. cat? Anybody need a cat? No, because my mom was like, we're not going to keep the kittens, but I'm keeping one kitten. Are you, taking, one. are you taking good care of the cat? Is it your responsibility or is it like everybody's responsibility? I mean, I don't really like to mess with it a lot because it's <laughs> like so psycho. Um, it's been on what day Belle wants to be nice. Okay. But um, Josh takes care of it a lot. Like, he changes the litter box, because I cannot do that. Uh, that's a man kind of thing. <laughs> she's okay with, like, playing with it when it's nice. I mean, Belle can be, but, I mean, you walk down the steps, and she's going to, like, try to, like, I mean, she's, I don't know where Gino got that cat from or what side of the road he got it from. I was going to say the street, for but sure. But he need oh, my God. And it's amazing, because anybody who knows Gino knows that he can't stand cats. <laughs> and for him to bring it home to Alana was a huge thing. The fact that he brought home a cat out of any other animal that he could have brought home, he brought home a cat. <laughs> yeah, I definitely would have preferred a puppy, but yeah, yeah. good luck with that. Um, and so, of course, your relationship with Gino is also a huge part of yes. the season in general. Um, and we see your daughter getting married, and then you're getting some feelings. You want to, you've never said that you really wanted to put on a wedding dress and walk down the aisle and now no. you're feeling some type of way? Yeah, I mean, never in a million years would I think the word marriage and Mama June would come in the same sentence. But, I mean, like, really, Gino's got me actually, like, thinking about it. You know what I mean? And it's kind of, like, crazy. It's 2018, so us women have to, like, step up and, like, grab what we want, right? Oh, yes, I love that. <laughs> I love that. I mean, you you end up asking him to marry you. Yes. Which is amazing. Yeah. Were you were you nervous? As crap. Didn't so, know. <laughs> so now you know how it goes the other way around. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's very nerve wracking because it was like a spur of the moment thing. Well, that's awesome. Good for you. Um, and then of course there's still drama with Sugar Bear. Um, and Always. the one thing that I thought was interesting is now she's talking about having weight loss surgery. Yes. Um, how do you feel about that? Um, you know, like I said, I've asked our, I mean, cause we don't film with them very far and in between, maybe like once every couple you know, once a month, maybe once every two months. And I asked my production crew cause once we, cause I don't see the footage until y'all do. Honestly, I don't get to pre-screen. I don't need to do any of that. So when I asked my production crew, they were like, you know, she's thinking about, because it's for... I'm spitting all over myself on live TV. <laughs> it's okay. But um, anyway, so I just asked them, you know, what was she, and they said it was because of medical reasons. And if she's doing it for that reason, I commend her for that. But as I always tell people, I guarantee she's going to have to have the skin removal surgery done at some point, depending on if she does it or not and if she has lost a lot of weight. Because I know that was my biggest struggle is I wanted to lose the skin immediately when I started losing weight. It just started hanging. And even now that I've started putting on weight, I feel – like trying to, the love handles trying to come back and I'm like no I want to like it's very it's a struggle and I don't know what she's going through because I don't know her personal stuff yeah and then when it comes to preparing for the pageant pageant where either of you were I know you probably maybe felt a little more stressed to like get back into your trainer diet action or yes because I was trying to do everything because I mean I had the lingerie shoot coming up the pageant oh, and yeah. it was all like right there together <laughs> And so, like, do those, like, little fad diet things or just – and not being able to actually work work out. You have to do whatever you can. Mm-hmm. Alana, did any of that pass over to you? What are you have, talking about? Have you seen your mom and you've taken on any of her healthy habits or – um. Not kind of – but she – she, Not kind of, sort of, I, I but say about the for, like, 
three months, I went on like a no grease diet where I had like no grease at all. And then ever, but good for you. She couldn't handle it. And then then I was like, no, I can't do it no more. I need grease. So now, I mean, I I didn't get this from not eating, so. (laughs) Um, And Gino obviously was super supportive of the pageant as well. So how has the family just been reacting to seeing your mom, Alana, like go up on stage and feel so great about herself? Well, um, I sometimes, I sometimes like while the pageant was going on, I felt like mom was getting a little overconfident in herself. So she kind of messed up a little bit, kind of, just a little bit. But um, I think everyone was um, pretty proud of her. Everyone was screaming, I swear. Like, they were like, mama. Uh, Yeah, so Pumpkin became my cheerleader. Talking about work at Smoochie and all this. So, like, they became my cheerleader. And it was kind of neat. But at the same time, it was kind of, like, nerve-wracking. Like, I wanted to get off that stage because... We know, like, some of the judges, because in South Georgia, you kind of know, like, who the, not not know, but, you know, everybody knows the judges because they're well-known down there. And those were some tough judges. And when I went out and seen who the judges were, I was like, because I don't get to pick all that. Even though we put on the pageant, I didn't want to have anything to do with the inside of the pageant kind of situation. Well, I know that you also said that there are some people within the pageant that you already knew. Yes, we competed with them in South Georgia um, a few times. Um, Crystal and Madison, Amber and her daughter Jalen. Um, some of the girls that have competed on Tyler's and Tiara's, um, we called in, you know, just to kind of, you know, that we have competed with and that we knew that had competed in there because we didn't want a lot of contestants. We wanted it to be very homey feel, kind of, kind of genuine. So we took, you know, we took people that, you know, w- w- wanted to actually do it for a good reason, a good cause. And unfortunately, we got a little bad apple, but it's okay. There are always bad apples in every seat, right? Makes it more fun for us to watch, right? Yeah, well, it wasn't for <laughs> us to be. <laughs> yeah, not for you to be a part of, no. but for us to watch. And Alana, since your days in the pageant, what's changed? Um, A lot has changed. It's not like a... Um, a- well, as people would say, a kitty pageant no more for me. Uh, it's like you have to wear like longer dresses and like I mean I'm so used to like cupcake cans like in the like, yes that was the hard pageants. for her to do the new routine to be an older teenage girl in the pageant. I think that was one of her hardest things. But I mean, when the routine came about the talent, she she held me. You know what I mean? I, I there was no way for me to hold myself. <laughs> That's so awesome that you guys were able to get up there and do it together. So, would either of you be able to show us, like, some key pageant moves? A little, like, kiss, a little smile? No, little... No, no. I mean, you've always had the wave down. <laughs> Come on. You, look, she's so embarrassed. Well, you're, well you, you were in the pageant, too, so. I mean, oh God, I mean, I don't really kind of like. I know that you're supposed to do pretty hands, pretty feet. You can show like, pretty hands, pretty feet kind of thing. I'm good. Um, <laughs> what's pretty feet? Like, when you, like, end up like this. Oh, you have to like, stand a certain way? Yeah, like way? when you like, you know how like when you like somebody like pose, like when you stop and you kind yeah, of like, yeah, just like yeah. pose your like feet. Just make sure they're clean and everything. Um, and just kind of be your sass. Like that, that was our thing is that we wanted everybody to have fun and, and bring back the fun back into pageantry. And like I said, there was some drama there, but I mean, it isn't a pageant without drama. Pageantry is a whole different, another, another thing. I promise you, like it's a whole different world within itself. Yeah, I mean, I think that's why everybody was obsessed with toddlers and tiaras. And then you guys brought it back with Here Comes Honey Boo Boo. And mm-hmm. now I think people are stoked to see it again in this series. Yes. Um, so what else within this season? Because there's lots of drama. There's lots <laughs> going on. Lots within your family. Ten, ten episodes coming out. Yeah, yeah, and I'm sure they're packed with <laughs> stuff going on. Yes. Um, so what are you most anxious or excited for people to see? Um, I have to say... I have to say, because so many people have seen me go through the eye surgery, seen me go through the weight loss, now that Pumpkins had the baby and seeing us adjust and also kind of bringing back, like, the old Honey Boo Boo Day, kind of like, okay, it's relaxed. It's not just about me. It's not just about Alana. It's about everybody in their individual personalities and just showing, showcasing, like, what goes on, like, in a mixed family. I mean, because there isn't just Alana and Pumpkin as kids. There's eight kids all together. And so, no, his kids will not be on the show, but, you know, she associates with the children and and the girls and stuff. So, it's kind of like, 
you know, a blended family comes together and for Gino to step up as a father figure, it's been kind of, you know, kind of unique to watch um, for myself, even because I'm not used to it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And then what about you, Alana? Anything you're super excited or looking forward to, to people seeing? Um, I think I'm super excited uh, for people to see Ella. Ella grow up. She's so cute. Yes, it kind of kind of reminds me of people say like when Caitlin people got to see Caitlin the first you know see her for the first two and a half years. So everybody's always asking. So Pumpkin actually made her an official Instagram page. I saw that. Yeah, so it's kind of funny. I think I don't know if y'all know what I'm talking about, but Jack the baby Jack Jack from The Incredible. Oh yeah yeah yeah. I think Ella looks like him. Oh, she kind of does. She's oh. really cute, guys. You have to look at her Instagram. And yes, what kid, Ella Grace what kid doesn't have an Instagram now? I know, a dog. I told her I said, because uh, Biggie, the bear that Gino gave her a couple Valentine's Days ago, um, that everybody sees now, I was like, you need to make Biggie Bees becoming famous, so you need to put Biggie in Instagram. <laughs> I mean, everybody wants to follow the whole family, that's for yes, sure. Yes, yes, definitely. So we're going to head over to audience questions. Okay. First of all, I'm really excited to be here. We're big fans for a long time. And I wanted to wish you well on your surgery and that's a good health. Um, do you have any special diet program that you follow when you're looking to lose weight or get back into it, like Weight Watchers or anything? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I do not eat salads. <laughs> <laughs> it is not that way. Um, but like I tell you, people, like I do, I've tried the keto diet and it's not that bad. It's like cheese, eggs, the protein, the meat. And it's not, and you honestly lose weight with that. And that's what I've kind of been going back to. I went back to, I went back to it and I've lost, I've started losing a couple pounds. It does, but it actually really works like we have friends who's been on that diet and I think that with protein and just stuff like that like you know I don't drink soda I don't drink all that so I'm not I'm not here to tell people how to diet because everybody's different but I know what has worked for me and I think that people just don't need to give up and that's what I think happens with a lot of diets nowadays because I've gave up <laughs> you can't eat bread with that right I don't know about bread but I don't eat bread so I don't eat bread or pasta I don't think you can eat bread on the Keto diet. Yeah, I think they when they started. I think that's what I don't eat bread or pasta, so that's like I could eat that all day, every day. A lot of people do, but I can't stand. I can't stand pasta or bread. But we've never been that type of purple. That's insane to me, but that works for you. Second question. Hi, I just wanted to say you both look great, and I also want to wish you the best on your eye surgery. My question is to Alana. How did you get your nickname, Honey Boo Boo? Okay, I get this question asked a lot, so we're going to answer it. Uh, I got my nickname because one day we were on that old show. One day we were um, sitting. Like in Tierras. Yeah, on Tallers and Tierras. It was like forever ago. And we were sitting there and like, I just, like, the name popped up in my head, and I said, Honey Boo Boo Child, and it just stuck. A dollar make y'all. They ended up, we was very nervous the first day. I remember this, like, <laughs> it was yesterday. First day, she was very nervous. We all nervous. Second day, BJ, our camera guy that was with us for quite some time, he gave her a wallet and with a dollar in it, and she just pulled it out. Yeah, and, and I was dollar, like. Dollar make honey, and it just stuck. She was, she was a natural talent. And, but all of your daughters have nicknames. Yes. So did that come from you or? Yes. Okay. Well, not not hers. Well, she does have them. It's either Smoochie, <laughs> Tito, Moody Mooch, Pumpkin is Poot Poot, or just Pumpkin, Punchin'. Punchin'. And then you got Botch. And then you got Chubbs, which you is got Jessica. Chubb, you know, you've you ever seen that Chubbs box? It's got the baby wipes, you know what I mean? Chubbs, oh, she yeah, looked yeah. like that when she was and like And then little. we got Anna with Chickadee. Chickadee is because she would never get up in the morning. And then Kaylin is just Gigi's baby because that was my first grandbaby. And then my, Ella is Tink Tink. My name is also Lonerbug, too. Yeah, Lonerbug, because Gina named her Lonerbug. So there's several names in the family. Do that, you have any others? Yes, yes. she has Junebug. Yes, oh, they June love, Bug. I, I love hate June Bug. that name. Or they call me Duden. Because that's like my, eater, my, my alter ego. Kind of eater. That's hysterical. Uh -huh. And then one more question. Hey, thank you for being here. I was wondering if you host watch parties with your family and friends. Um, I personally don't because we're on the road so much. We don't even have cable. 
And that's just shocking to some people. But no, we have no okay, We're never home, so we don't watch it. I only get, I watch it live from the live stream. My sister does. She has huge. Dodo has huge launch parties. She invites fans to her home. They do stuff like that. Unfortunately, I don't because we never know where we're going to be at from Friday to Friday. Oh, that's true. You guys are always on the move. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure. Are the fans getting crazier by the season or? I feel like I. I mean, like. We don't really have, like, a lot of, like, crazy fan experiences yeah, because, like, yeah. normally a lot of our fans are chill, but. And a lot of them we've known for quite some time, and yeah. we've invited them to our home, and we're friends with them on Facebook or whatever. So I don't think that we. we, we a lot of a our fans are friends. Like, we've, like, they used to be, like, old fans, but then they, like, they turned into friends. Yes. That's awesome. You guys are great. Thank you so much for being here. Could you just remind everybody when and where they can see the show? You can see the show. June 15th on Wii TV at 9 o'clock. And every Friday night after that for the next 10 weeks to watch our crazy dysfunctional life. Woo! <laughs> Thank you so much, guys.